Note Velocity gives you a grid to set up how you want Velocity to react. With it set up like this, this is how you would normally expect Velocity to be working. And here you can see that we have the Velocity sensitivity on the amplifier to be at 30 dB. So if I play something quiet, or I should say if I hit the key very softly, what's output is something very quiet. As compared to going and slamming it in. If I wanna limit that range, I could go in and set something up like this so that now when I hit something very softly or very hard, the difference isn't as great. And this can be useful with things like multi-sampled instruments, especially that have velocity layers. Sometimes like the quietest velocity layer or the loudest velocity layer will be kind of annoying. And so you might be able to go in there and kind of cut that off using note velocity here. I could see an application like that for this. Or if you want to get really crazy, you could invert it. You could do different things. So now when I hit something very low, it's gonna actually output quite loud. Or I should say if I hit it soft, it's gonna be loud loud and if I slam it it's going to be quiet right you can hear that there um, and then you can set kind of this middle point and you'll see that uh, this is going to then determine how your kind of curve is working and where that curve is occurring all right based on the key tracking but that's something I'll just leave for you to experiment with um, on your own it's really nothing too difficult to understand. Uh, the part that's kind of cool, I think, is the randomness. So if I go and I crank randomness like all the way up, no matter how hard I hit this key, it's not really going to correspond to anything on this grid. It's just going to be changing it at random, the velocity that goes in. So if I'm just... hitting it relatively the same every time, we're getting all sorts of results all over the board. And you might think, well, that seems like really stupid. Why would you ever want something like that? Like, isn't that just going to be too out of control? Well, not necessarily. Like, I can bring velocity all the way back down. Let's see if we have our gain control in here somewhere. So this instrument is now no longer velocity sensitive based on output. But what's to stop us from going in and setting up like an expression control here, taking velocity and routing that to, you know, all of these sort of crazy controls. Like we could set that here and set it up here. And so now with each note I hit, and I'm gonna limit the random range by going in and kind of doing this. So just like that, that's an obvious application where using random uh, could really maybe be something that could get you some really interesting results that you would maybe never expect to get otherwise. All right, so that is Note Velocity. I hope you have a lot of fun with that and are able to use it in all sorts of different applications. Take it easy.